Today we're talking about polynomial functions. Uh, a polynomial function is an equation in which all terms have real number coefficients and non-negative integer exponents. Um, so basically what that's saying is all of the coefficients and the constant in our uh, expression in our equation have to be real numbers, they can't be imaginary numbers. And our exponents, the powers of our um, variables, have to be non-negative integers. So remember, non-negative means that our numbers have to be greater than or equal to zero. And then integers are numbers like one, two, three, et cetera. It's all of our positive uh, whole numbers. So our exponents can't be negative, so they have to be positive and then all of the whole numbers. So that's how you can tell if um, something is a polynomial function is based on the power of x and then whether or not our coefficients are real numbers. So let's take a look at uh, an example where we identify some polynomial functions. So in this example, we want to determine which of the following are polynomial functions. And if it is a polynomial function, we want to find its degree. Uh, and when we're talking about the degree, the degree of a polynomial function just refers to the highest power of x in any single term in our function. Um, so let's take a look at some of these. So in part a, we have the function f of x equals 5 minus 3x cubed. Now generally when we write polynomial functions, we have something called standard form, which means that the terms in our polynomial um, descend in power. So the highest power generally comes first and then the next highest power and so on. So this is not written in standard form. Uh, if it was in standard form, it would be negative 3x cubed plus 5, but that doesn't change anything. Um, this is a polynomial function because we can see that this term here, right, has x to the third power. The 3 is a positive integer, um, and both 5 and negative 3 are real numbers. So this is a polynomial. And then when we talk about its degree, we look for, we look at our two terms and we ask which, um, term has a higher degree of x and that's going to be the second term here and its power is to the third so this has a degree of three so the degree of this polynomial function is three um, so if we look at b we have g of x equals the fifth root of x um, the fifth root of x can actually be rewritten as a power function as x to some power and the way that we do this is we take what's inside our radical, we take the radicand, and we're going to actually be raising it to some fractional power. Uh, the index of our radical is the denominator of your fraction, and then whatever x, whatever your radicand is being raised to is the numerator. So this is actually x to the 1 -fifth power. And we can see from this that because the exponent of x is a fraction, it is not an integer, this is not a polynomial. This is not a polynomial function. Uh, and that's again because the power is a fraction. Um, in part C, we have the quotient of two uh, binomials in this part. Uh, this is actually called a rational function and is it is not a polynomial function. And I'll show you why it is not. So this is not a polynomial function. Um, a rational function is a function who is a, that is a quotient of two polynomial functions. So independently, the numerator and denominator would be polynomial functions. But overall, when they're put together in this quotient, it is not. It's a rational function. Um, if you recall something like 1 over x, this expression, uh, we can actually express it as x to some power. And if we did that, it would be x to the negative one power, right? Because we have x to the first here. Powers in our denominator are actually can be moved to the denominator with negative exponents. So if we have some power with a negative exponent, this can actually move to the denominator and be expressed with positive exponents. So this really can be rewritten as x squared plus one times x to the fourth minus three all of this to the negative first power, which means we would have a uh, negative exponent, so this would not be a polynomial function. 